common sense Don't you dare forget Hi again! It, obviously, you know who this is. It's me. Um, honestly, obsessed with you all. Thank you so much for all the awesome comments. Thank you so much for subscribing. I think I'm all professional because I can add text to my videos now, so don't worry about it. I'm getting there. Pretty much just going to be doing some recreations of some looks that I've done in the past that you guys have asked for previously. I did this week, this look, I did this look last week, but I just added a little bit more of a like subtly kind of like a mod liner to it. And I think this look is pretty much good for any season. I mean, I guess you could kind of change up the lip if you don't want it to be so dark, but I don't mind a dark lip in the spring, summer, winter day, night, whatever. You can make this a little, a little bit lighter if you don't make it with so many layers of the liquid lipstick you guys will see that I used. Um, I think changing the lip would really make it a little bit more wearable, maybe daytime-ish, smaller lashes. You guys know how to edit the looks for yourself. Ugh, okay, um... to talk anymore because I just can't spit it out. But bam no makeup. Here we go. Let's get started. First thing I did is I started with my skin doing it super fast because I already have a skin tutorial. If you guys want to see step by step what I do there you can check it out. I'm pretty much just lathering all the coconut oil, all the moisturizers, all the sprays. And I'm picking up a new product. This is the Faces Cream Perfection. Uh, it's basically just a cream foundation and I'm using a Spectrum Collections buffing brush to apply that. Uh, the Faces foundation you can find it on Rachel Mur Murphy Makeup. Um, I'll have a link to that below. It's also on my website. And then um, the Spectrum Collections I also have a link on my website as well. They have really awesome brushes. I'm using the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer here as my eye primer and I'm just using a nice flat um, but fluffy brush to apply that and basically what I do with that is I apply the tiniest little bit. I pretty much get as little on the brush as possible and blend it in. Next I'm going in with MAC Blunt Blush and the Morph Blending Brush and I'm buffing that in the inner part of my crease, bluffing, blah, blah, buffing blunt through the crease. Um, you see I'm accentuating a little bit along the bridge of the nose, but not really for a contour, just to kind of complete the shape of the look. Uh, now I'm going in with the MAC 239 brush just to pack the blunt onto the lid. Um, I'm choosing this brush because obviously it's easier to place a lot more color with the flat brush, and then I'm going back with the blending brush just to buff out the edges. And I'm going to also pick up um, a MAC 224 in the end just to really, really buff out those edges. You really can't blend too much, so here's the MAC 224. I chose that instead of the Morph brush because it's a little bit fluffier. Next, I'm going to be going in with one of my new faves. It's a My Beauty Mark Cosmetics pigment. I'm not sure the color, but it's a gold pigment. And I'm going in with the MAC 239 brush. First, I tried it uh, dry, and basically I decided that I liked it better wet. So I get the product on the brush first, and then wet the brush with Fix Plus. And I'm, I'm going to basically take it and tap it onto my eyelid. And I'm going to do about three layers of that before moving on to the other side. Then I'm taking the blending brush and buffing out the edges of that just to make it a little bit more subtle and see the difference one without, one with. It has like a really pretty metallic but kind of like that bronzy gold color that's super beautiful with any day or night look. Next I'm picking up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate and I'm using an AYU brush. Uh, it's a nice flat, really thin brush and I'm going to be li lining my lower lash line with a dip brow. I really like this product for that because obviously it's waterproof, so I prefer things that aren't going to make a mess and run underneath my eyes. Although I always like to blend it out, I want it to be blended and stay that way. Uh, also using another Spectrum Collections brush, this is like a pencil brush, and instead of keeping that line blunt, I want to buff it out a little bit, but I don't want to make it too messy. So this is a nice brush because it's kind of fluffy but still precise, so you can get really close to the lash line. Something I always say is that the brush choice is one of the most important pieces of making a makeup look perfected because if you don't have the right brush, you can't really get exactly what you want going on there. So you'll see me changing brushes a lot and it seems a little excessive, but it's necessary. Oh, another brush look. This is the MAC 226 and I'm using two push eyeshadows in one is called Desert and the other is called T.O. And I'm taking that to buff out that line that I just applied with the dip brow because I want it to be a little bit more blended. And also this is going to set the dip brow so you know it's going to stay exactly where you put it. I'm also going to take a little bit of that mixture and put it into the crease on the outside of the eye. And this is going to give it a little bit more depth. 
And finally, I'm just going to blend, 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 and blend some more. Keep blending, and then when you think you're done blending, don't stop. You just want to blend some more. Do I, am I done yet? Maybe so. All right, now I'm just going to go back in with some more dip brow with the same AYU brush, and I'm taking this to define the inner part of the eyeliner, because as you guys could see, I had sort of the mauve, mauve, mod look going on. So I did pull the liner in a little bit more, and now I'm using the Spectrum brush to actually pull it in closer, so here you can see the difference. One side the liner goes all the way in, and the other it's only about three quarters of the way, so I'm just completing that line all the way to the inside. I'm having a tough time talking today. Tough time talking. All right, so now I'm done smudging that in, I'm gonna pick up a more defined brush. This is also Spectrum Collections, and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. That's amazing for everything. And I'm cleaning up the inner part of the liner that I just smudged inward. Since I used that smudging brush, it did give it not a very blunt look. Obviously, that's the point. Uh, here, I'm using Whisper of Kelch. And I'm putting that right on top of that pigment. I just wanted to brighten it up a little bit on the inner part. So I'm starting with it dry and then I ended up going back in with it wet. Now I'm going to be picking up a flat eyeliner brush. It's by Delium Tools. And I'm using the Ben Nye eyeshadow in Cocoa Brown. Just to pop that right on top of that liner, I just smudged out a few times to make it a little bit darker. And as I said, using a million brushes. I'm going to use the Ico. This is the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, Ico is a pretty cool company out of London and I'm going to be using this because I like that it has a really really thin applicator as you guys can see I keep it and pretty much just like lay it straight down onto the eye for the lid and then when it gets to the more precise parts you can use the tiny little tip to define the inner V like I'm doing there. I'm also going to be creating the, the wing on the outer part of the eye and I'm also going to be defining the lower lash line once again. Um, I'll probably do a couple layers of this as well just to get a little bit darker, uh, but it's a pretty great liner. I like, like I said, how precise it is. And I know this isn't just me, but how many of you guys hold your breath when you're doing eyeliner? So how awesome is this that I'm doing voiceover? Otherwise, I would have had to definitely be like the awkwardly silent, I'm not going to say anything during this part because I'm not breathing. Watch out if I pass out. And if I fall, would you like catch me? I hope you guys get that clueless reference. Anywho, next I'm using MAC Chromographic Pencil in Pure White, and I'm doing this on the inner part of the waterline. Basically, um, as you guys know, this makes your eyes look bigger. So you can see one here with and the other without. You can tell how that just kind of opens up the eye a little bit. And I chose the Chromographic Pencil in Pure White as opposed to MAC Fascinating. I wear contact lenses, and somehow Fascinating always coat my contacts. It's a huge mess. I can't see anything. I have, like, white clouds in my eyes so here I'm putting on my lashes uh, got 35 stuck together there but I'm using the duo lash adhesive in my previous video with the sultry eyes I gave you guys the lowdown on how to apply the lashes and these are the same ones the lashes by Lena in Olivia next I'm going to be doing that pretty berry lip that I showed you so I'm using MAC current lip pencil and my Beauty Mark Academy lip stain in Brit Brutal so now I'm going to go in and start by defining the lips first using the current lip pencil. And you can you can see that I first start by creating the first I first start by creating that heart shape of the cupid's bow by keeping the pencil more vertical and taking it from the center and pushing up and outwards. And for the bottom lip, personally, I like to start from the outside and work my way in. For me, it's just easier to get the lips even because you can go back in and kind of add a little bit more if you feel like you missed it there. And then um, usually you don't end up with it looking too lopsided. Then I'm going to go in and start blending in the outer parts of the lips a little bit more current and popping my lips together. This way you don't have too blunt of a lip pencil line before you put the lipstick. So you guys can see I'm doing a couple layers of that liquid lipstick. And this stuff I love a lot. It's one of those new fad liquid, liquid lipsticks that everybody's obsessed with. It dries to be a matte. Um, this color is gorgeous though. It's really kind of like a Rebel by MAC, but it's a little bit more purpley. For some finishing touches, I'm going in and adding a little bit of the MAC bronzer and medium golden with the Spectrum Collections brush. Just gonna finish it off with a little HD powder by Makeup Forever. And then I'm going to go in and start defining my lips just a little bit more using the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation and a nice flat defining brush. I'm going in mostly on the outer edges of the lips to create a little bit more of that perfect line. And uh, my camera died, so just going to give you a quick, this is how I did it, but I already did it, so yeah, what can I do? 
sorry I'm so ghetto, can't charge my batteries. Anyways, hope you guys like the look. And I guess we're lucky it died when I was pretty much done with the makeup. Hallelujah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.